it's from amazon guys and i'm going to leave it i'm going to leave it linked down below so that you guys can get it this is the true height it is beautiful i love the back um support the backrest plant is also from amazon lamp is actually also from amazon guys i was trying to return this lamp i was so upset when it came um actually maybe oh now i remember why i kept it like this <laughs> guys I'm, I'm such a anyways i kept it like this because i was so upset to see that can you see it's like slanted up it's like that but when i saw the pictures online it looked like it was flat like straight so i was really upset when it when it arrived and um you know see that it was slanted but obviously like i held on to it um i held on to it i assembled it held on to it and then because wafer is like a store that i love like i love buying stuff from wafer oh by the way the bulb is incredible also from amazon that is like a keeper beautiful so anyways i went on wayfair um because i think i'd seen this lamp there before maybe i just forgot but then one day i randomly went on wayfair and i looked looked at pictures looked at customer photos and the wayfair one is actually straight so i was like okay i'm going to return this i don't even think the wayfair one is like this curved i didn't even think it was going to be this curved i was looking for boom Maybe very slight curve straight and then like curving here boom right like sort of sharp angles but curved tell me why I start the return process on Amazon <laughs> I get the label everything I'm like ready to go and return guys I was fighting to disassemble this thing I think this link if you can see how it's not like can you see it's like a little disjointed if you get what i mean right it's not even so i guess when i assembled it i sort of forced it together so i really did this part tight really did this part tight i think the last one i was able to take it off and i just like left it sitting disjointed for a few days and then ugh, after the return window passed i like put it back together i was just like so upset um because obviously like why compromise right like there are things you can actually no i don't i don't actually recommend compromising on furniture like if, if it doesn't work send it back you can find another one that you're going to be happy with but unfortunately i could not take that apart i really really tried i struggled to like take it apart it didn't come apart so now that just reminded me why i then put it in that corner like it's, it's literally been in that corner for weeks put it in that corner and like made it face this way so that you never have to see that angle <laughs> I find that really hilarious like this shows you guys how particular about things i am so you know now it works it works here it works there like that and it's nice in that corner um and this is actually gold i think just because my my one of only one window is open so anyways gold gold um i actually moved away from gold for home decor like my last last place had like gold everything like everything was gold vases everything um and then my last place wasn't i don't think i had a single piece of gold because i tried to like follow what the apartment looks like i tried to follow like the fixtures and furnitures in the house sorry not furnitures like the fixtures in the house so my last place was obviously like stainless steel it's always been stainless steel but the stainless steel was more like conspicuous so i knew that like if i'm looking around the apartment and i see gold and then stainless steel like it would just clash basically almost like that and that <laughs> but that's fine because this is going to move to a different section of the house anyways i guess this chair brought us back to gold and obviously i loved the slump i wasn't going to get it in silver because this is already silver and that's as much silver as i can stand um i didn't want to get in black obviously because like my blinds i'm not really showing my blinds but it's like black like thick panels of black so you know it had to be gold and then plus the chair thing is gold so i guess i'm back to gold and right now i'm like looking at the mirror um i've actually bought a mirror twice let me tell you guys my mirror story at this point i don't know if i should flip so that you guys can see me should i should i okay fine i will hi guys <laughs> okay so mirror story um real quick i bought a mirror in the past three weeks i bought two mirrors i bought let me just sit down so that this just can really enter um i should be doing laundry now by the way I also need lip balm. Hold on. I can't think when I don't have lip balm on. I've bought two mirrors in the past 30 days. In the past 14 days. 15. 21. Anyways. So, I bought the first mirror from Amazon. It was large, like huge. The size, perfect size I wanted. And then, like, almost like in my dream or in my sleep, I'm like, wait. Come. I like called myself. I was like, come. That money you spent on a mirror. Are you okay? So I like literally woke up in the middle of the night and canceled the order. 
he was going to deliver i think i placed the order like on a weekend or maybe like a friday it was going to deliver on monday i canceled the order like sunday night it was already shipping like it was literally that late to the point where you know when amazon is like oh let's you know let's see if we can cancel this order it wasn't like the straight up cancel it was like let's see we're going to email you if you can cancel this order i canceled it and then the mirror was like, I didn't even realize how much I paid for it. Like, obviously I knew the cost of the mirror, but like with tax, it came to like early 300. I was like, ah. But it was like high to like 280 something. So I didn't even look at, cause I bought a bunch of other things. So when I, when I even saw that price, I was over 300, I was like, eh. And then I like kept on, I now went on TikTok, like checked the next size, like below the size that I got. Cause for me, like, I just wanted a really wide mirror, right? So once I saw like the widest dimension on Amazon, I just jumped on it. I was just so excited because for so long, like I, I always like big mirrors, but I've obviously not been able to really get super big mirrors. But you know, now I'm like actually measuring things. I'm like, okay, this is how wide. So I canceled that order. Um, then I start watching TikTok videos. Literally, like this was like 4 a.m. <laughs> like watching TikTok videos on like the dimension underneath just to see you know what it looks like in people's houses and it's actually like a two inch difference but if you have mirrors you know how they are right um so i was like watching lots of videos even trying to find videos of people that bought the one that i just cancelled i think i probably watched that one before i cancelled the order just to see and i'm like okay am i going to be okay with this one that's like two inches different um two inches under the width that i want anyways i think i even cancelled the order because i remember that my phone because i remember that i had gone on home depot before i bought that mirror um and i saw one that like home depot had maybe like an 80 dollar off so it was like the same price as the amazon one but a smaller dimension but then home depot now had like 80 dollars off so now it was like maybe maybe 200 220 do you get what i mean so price wise right the home depot one is actually worse than the amazon one because like it's the same price as the amazon one, but it's smaller but with this deal i was like okay i'm just going to sacrifice the size i won't get the super big one i'll get like you know one size underneath um because there's a deal so i order it i buy the home depot one um as a girl that loves savings you know and then it tells me it's going to deliver to home depot the following week like on a tuesday so I go to Home Depot. Tell me why I get there and I'm like waiting for someone to like bring this thing out, right? Because there's a curbside parking. Nobody brings it out. I'm there for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, now I'm tired. Like, this is ridiculous. So I go inside and like literally the first person I saw, I'm like, I'm here for curbside order. I've been waiting for like 20 minutes. No one has come out. He's like, oh, so sorry. And then he checks my order. And then he's like, what car did you come with? And then I tell him, just like a regular sedan, he's like, yeah, it's not going to fit. It's a really tall mirror. It's not going to fit. I'm like, oh my God. Just slap me now. Just tussle me on the floor and tackle me. Like, why? Right? Because by this day, my Amazon one would have arrived. And guess what? I would not have had to do a single piece of work other than drag it into my apartment. I would not have had to lift a finger. But now I've gone all the way to this home depot i have waited longer than when i really needed this one because you know, you know when, when you when you're like you know trying to get your apartment together like there's a at least for me there's a time limit right where i'm like okay fine i don't have this i'm fine i don't have this i'm fine and then there's a point there's like a cut off where something just switches in my brain and i'm like i need that and i need it today i need it now so like i was at that point like that cusp of almost frustration and like desperation like needing a mirror right so i'm like i have already passed my peak <laughs> monday was like my cut off day to have a mirror and now it's past that monday and you guys are telling me what's that it's not going to fit like what yeah so then the guy tells me he's like oh we have a truck um you can take the truck it's 19 dollars. you can take the truck take the mirror um and then bring it back and then i thought about it I mean i'll now load this thing inside the truck take this thing home and then bring the truck back to you guys and then now drive home again i was like nope 
I am not doing it. He's like, you know, yeah, you can, you know, just consider it, think about it and let us know. I was like, please, how can I cancel the order? <laughs> and he was already going to show me anyways. But then he was like, yeah, maybe easier for you to just do it. Because he, he told me again, he was like, just think about it. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Again, I remembered the convenience of Amazon, that the Amazon driver was going to not only drive it to me, but bring it inside, deliver it to me, and it would be at my door. Guys, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, it's been two and a half weeks since then, so you can already tell I'm like way past my cusp of needing a mirror. Um, but that's basically what has been going on, so... In a way, it's good though, right? Because as you can see, this has been here for like maybe a month. This poor plant, it was sitting out here for him. I didn't see, I literally, guys, it was until yesterday when I showed you guys the box. Like, I did not remember what was in that box. I was just like, keep walking past it, keep walking past it. Like, it, it just became like a piece of the house at that point. So, I guess it's a good thing the mirror hadn't come. So, at least now this corner is set-ish. It's looking good. I am so happy. I'm so delighted. Wow. This lighting looks impeccable. Wow. Gay, gay, gay. <laughs> anyway, so now I can get the mirror. I think like right now, you know, being able to see the place coming alive, I'm like, okay, now I'm going to get the mirror. And it's funny because usually the mirror is usually is the first thing I get whenever I'm like decorating. I don't know. I Like I said, I've passed the cusp and the point of needing a mirror. Like I'm, I'm running on like dry, empty battery right now. Um, I usually get my, I don't play my mirror. I get my mirror first. My, my last apartment, I did a reel where I shared with you guys. I used Uber to get my mirror. Get, oh, shit. I could have done that at home. Oh, oh shoot. I would have gotten an Uber XL and then driven be... I've already cancelled the order. That would have been the easiest decision. But then what if the Uber driver now ran away with my mirror? Anyways, I'll have his information on Uber. But I was just trying to tell you guys that my last place, gosh, vlogs are so amazing. It's almost like a clarity thinking opportunity. I was trying to tell you guys that my last place, I did a reel where I shared how I got my mirror using Uber. Right? I went out, I had a busy day. Um, Ikea had a sale, like, few dollars off so i quickly ordered the mirror like on the last day of the sale um it was ready for pickup the next day but i knew i was going to have a busy day i knew i wasn't even going to be able to head down to ikea so what i did i went on uber um the uber app ordered a ride to ikea I can already like they sent me an email with like instructions of you know how to pick up whatever whatever so i just followed the journey of my driver in the app once he got there obviously not like texting my driver while he's driving no like not distracting him no um so i just watched when he got to ikea then i texted him like the instructions that ikea had sent me which is asking him you know what parking spots are you or, or please make sure you're parking in the um pickup order place and then what parking spots are you in and please just wait there pop your trunk and you know um, Ikea is going to come and put the order in your trunk so I just let him know all of that I relayed it to him when he got there lo and behold it was efficient not like the Home Depot experience I just had <laughs> um they brought they brought out the mirror put it in his trunk and then I just watched him on the app again heading right back to me where I was and it was just so beautiful, so convenient, so easy. Because at the end of my day, I just headed home, right? I didn't have to like then go to IKEA and then like start heading all the way home. And I'm sure like from the the arrows, like the way I'm pointing, you can sort of see the inconvenience and the like the opposite directions that IKEA was from me that day. Um, so it was just like super convenient. I just headed home. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I did. And clearly, I forgot. I forgot because this day when I went to Home Depot, I would have just ordered Uber XL. It would have been maybe the same $19, most likely, maybe even less, and just taken it to my apartment. Um, I failed. <laughs> I flung to that, and it was $80 off again. The, the Home Depot one was like $80 less, so like maybe like $220 versus like $300 and something. But now, guess who has to spend 300 and something on Amazon? Me. When I'd already spent it before, right? Like, 
should, I should have just left that order, but I cancelled it. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm going to order a mirror sometime this week. We'll see. Um, and I think I told you guys that there's something in there, like a table. So I want to assemble that today, but at the same time, I'm tired. Like, I'm actually tired. Like, doing this, I'm already tired. And then I need to do laundry. So we'll see. Uh, whenever else you guys see me, then we'll put together another piece of furniture. I just want to really begin settling in. Like, I'm tired of all this limbo that I've been doing. Just crashing on my mattress on the floor. Like, it's time. It's time to get my bed. It's time to really just, like, settle in. Um, when I filmed yesterday, right? Uh, maybe you guys have already seen it, but I filmed my H&M haul. So basically, like, it's time to be able to get going so that I can get back to, you know, working, like, doing my work, creating my content fully. Um, as opposed to this endless settling I'm doing. And also Christmas is coming! Right, so like the, the faster I can settle in, the more I can create content for Christmas. If not, I'm just going to be settling in and unpacking and like Christmas is going to come, you know, and pass me by and I wouldn't be able to like do anything creative-wise because I'm settling in. So I really want to see if I can like be faster because I've really taken my sweet time. Um, so anyways guys, as you can see, I am avoiding doing laundry and everything else I need to do. I need to cook. I need to cook. Uh, oh shoot, I did not bring out my ground beef from the freezer. Alright guys, I gotta go. Bye. Happy sun. Happy Sunday. I forgot to say that in the beginning, so I hope it counts. <laughs> Bye guys. Guys, oh, so I'm heading out. I want to go and do my nails because my nails are, they're going. I wish I could grab my phone case, but my phone case literally matches. Um, and I think I, I, not I think, I did it the weekend I got my new phone. Um, and I had a brown phone case and I wanted to do brown nails. Um, and I actually thought it would be brown nails like by November, but I guess I did it like October. So now I'm tired of it. Um, so I'm going to go lighter, but like basically my plan was like to keep going light 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 and then dark in November But I guess I didn't wait and I did it already. So it's time to go change my nails um, I just want to show you guys my outfit really quickly So this is me sweatshirt. I got this from Naked a while ago um, About a year ago. They still have it. So I should be able to link it um, my My pants TikTok girlies influenced me they got me to get this <laughs> and guys i never i feel like i never get influenced i'm one of those people but um this you know pants style i mean we used to wear this back in the days 90s kids um and i guess it's back so this is from skims i did an unboxing and shared it on tiktok so if you saw that you saw it if you didn't you missed it <laughs> um so yeah and i guess this is just to show you guys because in my hauls that are coming or you've seen them already like my color palette for this season, for winter, is like neutrals. Neutrals, browns, nudes. Like, I've been loving brown since last year, but I feel like I didn't really do a lot of hauls um, last fall. Like, I was just buying and unboxing and like wearing it. And I actually, guys, I think, you know how I've been saying, oh, I have these packages, I don't open it, I, I don't open it. I think it's a subconscious thing to make me share with you guys, right? Because normally in the past, like last fall, right, I was, you know, shopping. At the beginning of the season obviously like to get my closet ready and it will just arrive and i'll just like unbox it wear it try it on and that's it like i wouldn't want to then record it again um so then i started like you know ignoring my packages until i'm ready to film right and then sometimes it takes a week or two before that happens so anyways um nude neutrals that's like my color palette i just want to show you guys because it's not just like in the halls when you see the halls like oh you know she's showing us like brown clothes and neutral clothes like this is what I'm actually wearing, <laughs> like actually wearing it out. And I love how this looks. If you saw the reel or the TikTok, I have the jacket, like the skin jacket of this, like the full set. But when I put the sweatshirt on, I was like, ooh, I really like like the, the pairing, right? It's like a light, lighter color and then like a darker brown. So I really like it. It looks really good. Anyways, this is good. It is so comfy. I have the leggings as well, like the Skims outdoor leggings. Um, so yeah, I'm Mike, and I'm ready to head out. Let me show you my bag. Okay, so now you know it's real. Like, um, <laughs> this is not a joke. Brown. I got this bag in the summer, so we've been browning <laughs> literally since last year. And oh, I just I love all the shades, guys. Oh, 
That is so beautiful. Um, so I got this bag from Amazon. Look at my nails. And then this is my phone case. So look at my phone case and my nails. Literally, literally, like perfection. So it's a brown fest. As you can see, my entire life is like browning. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm about to head out. I should go. Ah, I'm so angry, guys. This is the daylight savings day. I am so angry. No wonder everywhere is quiet. Everybody's upset. I hate daylight savings. Can they stop it? Like, we're all about to be depressed. God, please, hopefully not. Like, you know the fall, winter thing where, like, everywhere is just dark all the time. And it's already dark. <laughs> Anyways, let me go do my nails. I'm not taking my camera. I'm not that much of a vlogger yet. I feel like vloggers, like... You know, they know how to like carry their cameras in public. Yeah, I'm leaving this camera at home. I'll just try and be like inconspicuous on my phone. <laughs> but I know I'm going to get there slowly, gradually, but surely. Alright, guys, this is my outfit. I'm just like regular boring sneakers. I need new sneakers for working out, so please, if you have any recommendations, leave a link below and I'll check it out. I'm most likely buy it because I don't know what kind of sneakers you need to work out. This was a gift from a lovely lady many years ago. Um, you know, like those big aunties that you love. So, I've never bought myself workout shoes. So, like, I literally do not know what to look out for. So, please, guys, let me know in the comments. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to head out. One of my college professors on calculus always used to see rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, love that guy. He was amazing. So, yeah, guys, ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go get new nails. And it's going to be like pink, I think. I'm going lighter. All right, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah, and the, the lips are nude as well. Yep, my brown chestnut lip liner and my milk. Um, yeah. You, 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 already, you already know what it is. You know the color palette for the season. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, no, I didn't do laundry. I'm heading out. Then I'll come back, do laundry, and cook. Ugh, it's going to be a long Sunday. And I still need to watch Christmas movies because I fell asleep last night watching vlog, switching between Christmas movies to vlog, and then selling Sunset is back. Like, I have a lot of things to watch. So I don't know how I'm going to do it tonight, but I need to get on my Zoom, <laughs> like the kids say. <laughs> oh, yes, I think ugh, I'm not doing a pedicure, so I'm not like sitting in the chair and like getting the back massage thing that like hits you. So I don't think I'm going to watch anything because like the, the manicure chair is like boring. I already did a pedicure. My pedicure is still like on point. So I don't know. Will I watch anything in the... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs> Milk tea in the back. Back from doing my nails. And this is the color we went with. Uh... This isn't what I went for. I went for like a mauve. <laughs> Guys, is that how to pronounce that word? Like, you know that pink? That's like between pink and brown, right? You guys saw that I had brown earlier. So I was trying to go for like something in between pink and brown. Um, but then I felt bad. I don't know. I was literally talking to my friend about this yesterday. How like you go somewhere to get a service done. And then you, because you start feeling bad, like you don't speak up for what you want necessarily like sometimes you just take whatever they give you um so yeah that's how i felt today actually that brown that i took off um the day i did it i wanted to, like i was trying to choose between two colors um and after she did like one coat of the first color i was like oh, i don't like this but then i sat there and like she painted the whole five and something just kept telling me like you you you're paying for this right like you need to speak up <laughs> you're paying for this so then i spoke up and then she put that color you guys saw that i just took off um as a second top coat so for this one you know i actually did speak up um the first the two colors she tried they were like too bright and i was like no you know let's try this other one and she went to the back and like brought two more colors because for some reason the salon they didn't have like nail polish like in front of the store for me to just pick out so she went and grabbed two more colors. So now, guys, by this time, you know, we're looking at four colors, right? Um, and then the two new colors she brings are, like, super pink. I don't know if you guys can. If you look closely, you might be able to see pink, like, at the beginning of the nails. So it was, like, a really bright pink. And I was like, mm, this is a lot brighter. But for some reason, it was so cute. It was, like, a bubblegum pink. And so as she was painting it, um, I was like, yeah, no, this is actually not what I was trying to get. Like, I wanted something a little darker. So I told her exactly what I just told you guys. I was like, between pink and, like, 
the brown I came in with. Um, so she was like, oh, you know, I can go in with this color. This color was from the first set of two that she brought um, that I picked out earlier. So she was like, yeah, I can go in with this as a top coat to sort of dim it down a bit. So that's what we ended up doing. What is underneath is like a very cute <laughs> bubblegum pink, um, which is like a perfect summer color. So anyways, this, this works, you know. Um, before the other brown, I had like a cream color. So I guess like all I, all I knew was like I was trying to go lighter. I'm sure you guys can see the pink now, like towards my cuticles, you can see the bright pink. But I just knew I was trying to go lighter, so this works. But next time I go, I don't know if I can ask to see their colors. It seems like, like she went to the back, which is why I couldn't pick. But I will take my time more. And also the thing is she explained it to me, the nail thing, right? You guys know the nail thing that has like lots of colors. Um, she was like, those colors are for gel. So I don't do gel anymore. Well, I did gel like twice and it almost damaged my nails. So she was like, those colors are going to be different from whatever nail polish she pulls out because those are for gel. Um, so like the regular nail polish will always be like brighter. So I kept on picking like move, like literally the color I want. I kept on picking move on that card thing. But when she brings out the nail polish, it was always like a shade or two or three shades, much, much lighter. <sighs> Anyways, next time I go, I will... Um, you know spend time even if we need to pick out like six or eight until i get the color i want so anyway guys this is what our manicure looks like um this is a new a new nail salon i, I went to not the usual one that i go to because i didn't like the service at the other one and i just felt like i needed to go to a place where i'm treated well and with respect um obviously we know like they speak a different language when you're there um but i was just like picking up on bad vibes Gosh, I can't believe I'm using that expression. <laughs> Online generation, yep, it's all about the vibes. So yeah, I wasn't I wasn't picking up good vibes anymore. So I had to leave and change um, salons. So yeah, I'll take my time, you know, more next time I go there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. So, so far in this season, I've done like a cream, like a milky sort of off-white color which was lighter and then I've done like a dark brown and now like I just want to move pink-ish color which is I guess this would have to do so let me know what to do next uh, maybe like a chocolatey brown like a you know much darker brown than the first one we'll see so this is what it looks like on my pants <laughs> and funny story guys when I walked in um the lady that was like in the chair beside me she was like oh your your nails match your pants I was like yeah and my phone case too which was like the first nail I took in there you match my phone case let's see so this one oh please phone do not slide please <gasps> you guys look what I'm doing for you okay <laughs> I did it so this one is a lot lighter the other one was like perfect match between that 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 um obviously you guys saw what i wore to go and now we're pink yep this has broken me also my neutrals but we move okay all right time to make pasta time to make dinner bye guys <laughs> can i turn this off oh i'm guys i'm finally doing laundry so popped in the laundry as soon as i walked in so yay and this is me in case you're wondering <laughs> looking a little a little bit tired from the evening hold on let me zoom out this is like into my face is this zoomed in yes all right it's been a day it's been a weekend time to make dinner yeah this is lighter i just wanted something lighter the other one was dark which which is what i wanted um after this we're going to go darker i literally just say real of someone with chocolate nails so the other one i had was like brown like the brown of my pants but this lady that I just saw has like, cho like chocolate brown. Um, I think I'll go that dark next time. And I was actually looking for like brown. It's just that was the, the one I did was the darkest the other salon had. So I guess maybe my next one is going to be, you know, dark brown. Is it going to be, I'm thinking if it's going to be close to Christmas. No, no. So I'll do dark brown before we go, like red for Christmas. I did red once. I've done red only once in my life, which was like last Christmas. So, um. I'm excited and it was gel then when i was taking that gel off then they destroyed my nails like my nail bed was like rough like super super rough um yeah and guys these are my real nails like the lady was really really complimenting me throughout she's like oh my god oh my god i like it um yeah 
and I do different shapes as you can see it's weird and like initially they give me the what do you mean curved and straight I'm like that's 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 what I want please like that's how my nail grows <laughs> that's how I file it like when I'm when I don't do my own I want to say when I didn't used to do my nails and when I don't do my nails because I feel like I don't always do my nails so curved straight straight curved curved that's how I've always, always felt my nails. Like I've never had like these two curved, never. And I can't see my picture, it just, it feels weird. So anyways, I guess that's just uh, when you get a service done, ask for what you want, ask for exactly what you want. Obviously be polite, but ask for what you want. Um, yay, all right, time to make dinner. You guys just had to see this pasta. Fresh of the fire, you can see all the flames and smoke. Mm. Amazing. I'm about to eat, dive in. Um, I use for pasta sauce. I use ragu chunky. Oh shit! I'm about to burn my hands. Tomato, tomato, garlic, onion sauce. Um, but yeah, lovely. Kind about to dive in. Bye. Yum, yum, yum. The proud chef. <laughs> All right, I need to go eat. Bye. I forgot to mention, guys, this is the laziest pasta I have ever made. Like, right after um, making the ground beef, which I still have some left over here that I might use for quesadillas later in the week. But right after making the ground beef, normally I like then put oil and you know start all that like sauce making today i was just lazy i was like listen i'm hungry i don't have time so right with like the ground beef you know how ground beef ground beef produces its own oils and stuff i just dumped literally just dumped my ragu inside and after that i dumped my pasta inside stirred a bit <laughs> let it you know marinate cook and then put more ragu um just to get it like a lot more red and a few minutes later, it was done. Like, the laziest pasta ever. Like, I always properly make my sauce, you know, fry the oil, sometimes put onions. Listen, today I did not have time. But anyways, look who has dinner now. Yay!